Hello and welcome to B2B Cambodia's Tax Update, the show where we break down Cambodia's tax laws and regulations with key experts in the field. This episode, we'll be discussing tax amnesty with Ms. Vajiravan Chamnan of DFDL. Thank you so much for speaking with us today. Yes, nice to meet you. Let's get right into it. Regarding the new Prakash 71, could you kind of share a little bit about what the purpose of this new Prakash is? Yeah, the, you are right. This recently there is a Prakash 71 reissued by the Ministry of Economy and Finance. The purpose of issuing this Prakash, we understand it's to modify the previous Prakash which was issued 217 on the voluntary amendment for the tax incentive for the taxpayer. So the scope of this Prakash now, it applies for the assessment taxpayer or with holding the agent who they acknowledged or they unintentional making the declaration of the return incorrectly. So the broadcast encourage them to do the voluntary amendment in order to receive the tax amnesty because the exemption for the penalty, interest mm -hmm. and also other tax obstruction from the GDT in order to apply on the amendment in case they have any underpaid tax. And what is the main differences with this new Prakash and the previous one? If we look at the current Prakash, it provides more, I can say that, um, flexibility and facilitate for the taxpayer now. They, they Because it's extend until uh, end of June 2024 for the taxpayer to do the amendment. So all the company or enterprise here, they need to be aware of which type of the return that they are under declare. So they need to promptly to to calculate and to amend and also pay this not tax if any to the tax authority and apply the letter to get the tax amnesty which mm -hmm. refer to the exemption or penalty, interest and other obstruction. Could you also briefly summarize what are the main points that businesses should be aware of with this new podcast? There are key main points under mm -hmm. this podcast first. The amendment for uh, a tax return that you can receive the tax amnesty will relate to the transaction and financial statement before January 2024. For any amendment of your return for the transaction that happened post January 2024, the enterprise could not entitle or, or receive the tax amnesty under the Braca Survey 1. And second point is that the amendment should be made or, 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 or could be a uh, amend the return by the taxpayer before the discover of the tax issue by the tax auditor. So this is the key point. The, the issue is here, uh, we, we are not, because in the practice it does not uh, mention clearly uh, the term of discover the tax uh, audit, I mean the tax reassessment by the auditor. So you need to be aware of whether any, uh, I mean, uh, indication of the tax finding that has been noted in the minute of meeting or any draft reassessment. So in case you amend, let's say you amend your tax return uh, based on the audit finding, you cannot uh, request or you cannot apply the tax amnesty under the Braca 71. Mm -hmm. You need to pay this penalty 10% plus interest 1.5% per month. However, if during the audit finding, they also find the same issue or the same tax that you have amend, it allows that the new Braca allows you to offset with the tax that you have been paid during the amendment process. From a conservative tax perspective, it's better to do the voluntary amendment before mm -hmm. they receive any draft reassessment from the tax auditor uh, or before receive the notice of tax audit this to be set for them. Yes. In case that the auditor provide just for, from our point of view only, in case the auditor provide them with a draft tax reassessment. So we believe at this point of time, the auditor already discover their tax issue mm -hmm. or they already find about their tax issue. So when the tax uh, payer they want to amendment, we believe that the amnesty or incentive under Prakas 71 would, would, might not be eligible for them. So this is the key point that the tax, the enterprise need to make sure that the transaction that they amend, uh, if they want to qualify to get the tax amnesty under the Prakas 71, make sure that those transactions happen before January 2024, and those uh, amendment uh, transaction would not discover by the auditor yet. Right. Yeah. So for my last question, are there any ambiguities or areas of concern in the current wording of the Prakas that you think might be confusing or you know might lead to any other yeah. issues? Based on my reading, uh, the concerning wording is on the as to when 
we determine that the auditor they find the issue. So it, to me, it's very important that the taxpayer now need to be careful when they do like a sign of minute of meeting or receive or any uh, receive a draft assessment or having any discussion with the tax auditor. Make sure that uh, the point that the tax auditor provide to them is not related to audit finding. But if you think that it already related to the finding. I believe that when you go and try to amend your return, the GT might not allow you mm -hmm. to get the tax incentive under Braga 71. This is the key term or, or I think the, the, the concerning uh, wording in the Braga 71, which we also encourage the enterprise in case they are not clear, they can seek further discussion with the tax officer of the General Department of Taxation or any qualified tax agent license for their detailed understanding. All right, I think that's all for today. Thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. This was B2B Cambodia's tax update. Thank you for watching. Come back for more episodes where we break down Cambodia's tax laws and regulations.